my general message to the community would be as a severe newcomer, like super new, um, just, just thanks. I've not come across anyone who's been, who's like taken the piss for me not knowing what I'm talking about. People are helpful and informative and kind and just, yeah, thank, thank you, all of you, all of you, thank you. Um, and keep, keep it up because, um, yeah, if, if there's anyone else like me who's brand new to this whole thing, you're going to make them stick around by being the way you currently are. Yeah. That's my message to no, the community. That's, great. that's a great one. It's very, uh, very positive. I'm very glad to hear it. And then obviously that uh, that's where I've talked about on some of the other podcasts and so on that, uh, really the value of a coin is the value of its community, right? Uh, is that in the long run, the whole point of a cryptocurrency is just f facilitates a trade with other people. So you need other people for it to work. Uh, and that ultimately that's a, the hardest thing to create is not even the mine, you know, the mining network or the software or whatever. It's building a, a community of people that, that are, you know, cause it's all voluntary. It's not, not like a government currency where you can force people to use it, you know, with a gun and say, pay your taxes or else. Um, in crypto, somebody has to use it because they want to. And so uh, it's important that a uh, community is, is welcoming and accepting and makes people want to be want to be a part of that. Uh, so it is a different yeah, global community. It should be as inclusive and, and friendly as possible. And yeah, I think uh, we've been doing a good job of that. And, and yeah, hopefully that will carry on. Luckily, it is self-perpetuating. You know, people who are introduced uh, in a friendly way are then more likely to to spread that to new users.